Coming in. Coming in. What's up, gamers? Today, we're going to be reviewing Castle Panic. So, let's get this game open. I just bought it. Quite a few games to get used to it. Nice board. Yep, get that. Some instructions. Pretty nice. Let's open this board up and see what it's like. Okay, so pretty nice board, as you can tell. And then it comes with these monsters, tokens. There's a bunch of them. And this is a solitaire game. It can go from all the way from just one player all the way to six. So it can be a family game or you can just be playing it if you're bored and just want to do something other than sit around. Bye. I know. And then they have these little creatures like this orc that has two health. And then I will get into the cards right after set up this. So we get these all flipped over, whatnot. And then it's pretty cool because you have these special monster tokens. You have orcs, trolls. Let's see if I can find a troll. You have giant brolders. You have monsters move clockwise, so you can tell. And then you have just like blue monsters move more. You have goblins. You have draw three or four more tokens. And then yes, the Goblin King. This Goblin King is terrible. He, you get to pick three more men with him when you get him up. And then an orc, and then a troll, and then a draw four monsters, which, and then there's some orc warlocks, orc mages, and then where, maybe I can find this orc. Oh, and then this healer heals everyone by one. So you can tell, and then there's an orc warlord. And all of these guys have special abilities. So when you put them on the table, they will have a special ability, which I think is pretty cool. But there's not that many of them. Let's get into this deck of cards. Okay, so you got a nice Castle Panic deck of cards, and then you got these. Order of play cards, which you gotta take out of your deck if you're gonna play. And then you got 49 archers, so right here you have some archers, which you can use in the archer ring right there. You have knights, which you can use in the knight ring. You have mortars, brick, let me see, I think I see a brick. Brick and mortars can build walls, which I'll get into later. Swordsman, swordsman rings, more mortars. Some archers, some knights, some, oh, and then the heroes. They can go from anywhere from swordsman ring to archer ring, which is pretty nice. Missing. What happens is you don't have to draw creature tokens every, uh, that turn. And then there's any color units, which is pretty nice. And then there's scavenge. Scavenge the discard pile. Nice shot, which basically you play that with it, everyone. No, with the unit and then automatically kills them. Barbarians, which it's a castle ring, and if they're in it, you can kill them instantly. Fortify wall, put a fortified token on it. Knight, any color archer, and then there's a draw two cards, and then that's the whole deck. So now got these fortified tokens, a dice, tar token, and then you got your walls and castles and everything. So what you want to do when you're going to set this game up is it'll come like this. You got to put this and do that with all of your pieces and then put your walls up. And then after that, you put your castles up, and this, this will be a little harder, to, well, not hard, it's just confusing. Up 
Okay, so then what you want to do with your castles is you want to put them in the castle ring. Just plop them in place. And then your castle is ready to go. And then what you want to do is you want to shuffle your deck, which I've already shuffled it. And then you got to put these in. And then what you want to do to start the game. Well, let's just get into the game. Okay, so what you want to do to set up your game is you'll want first a troll, one troll, two, well, three goblins, two goblins, and then the next thing is what you want to do, three goblins, is you want two orcs, if I can find a single orc in this pile of monsters. Man, I'm just having not that great of luck today. And if you really like this video, please subscribe. It's a great channel. And we, if you like board games, then you should definitely subscribe. Okay, two orcs. Now what you'll want to do is you want to, when you have more men, you... So, once you do that, you'll get your dice. And you'll start out, how you position your men is you say, okay, so I'm going to do this troll. You roll the dice. Okay, you get a four. And then there's little, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it got a four. So you put them right here in the forest area at four. And then you'll roll again. I'm doing a goblin now. And I get a three. And then I do that with another goblin. I get a two. And then I do that with another goblin. And then I get a three. So one's right here. And then I get a one. And then done with a two. So that's how you set up your men. And when you're starting out, you want to be in the archer area. So that's how you want to do it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do turn one. Turn one, you want to first get your six cards. If you're playing solo, if you're playing with two people, still six. If you're playing with three people, it goes down to five. And then you can trade two cards. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I got two green knights, one blue swordsman. Oh, and then I got a pair of a brick and a mortar. In this game, you do not want to hide your cards from your friends. You want to keep them down so everyone can see it. But I'm playing solo, so I can keep it in my hand. Draw two cards, I'm going to do that, if, and even if I'm over the limit. Okay, so I get a red archer and tar. So you'll, I'm going to attack. So with this red archer, I find the red ring, which this is red, green, and blue. And then the red archer is going to attack this goblin and the red archer ring. And then I'll slay it, and then I keep it. And then at the end, if you're playing with two play, two players, each health is worth a point. And then whoever has the most points is the master slayer okay now what i'm going to do is i can't do anything more so what's going to happen is now i'm just going to say i'm done they'll each advance and then i gotta choose two more monster tokens okay i get a troll and a goblin so you want to do this exact same thing except this time you start in the forest three so the Goblin goes on a three. And then what about this troll? The troll goes on a six. So then what happens now is it comes back to my turn. And what you can do if you're playing one player, you can discard two cards and then draw two more. And if you're playing with two player, you can only do one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard. Actually, I'm going to discard my tar. And then, and, and you can do one. So then now i got a green archer so what i can do now is i have two green knights so i'm going to hit this goblin and then with my other green knight i'm going to hit that goblin 
And when you're attacking, you always discard your cards because that would be, just be overpowered. You're like, oh yeah, I'm keeping this card. And then you keep those. And then you can play as many as attack cards as you can. You can play as many cards as you want. And then that would be the end of my turn. So then they come by, each of them come up, and then I draw up two more monsters. Okay, so red monsters move one. And when you get this card, instead of the orc attacking, they just stay there. So that really didn't affect me. And then what happens is this troll, going to roll to see where it goes. Okay, it goes on a two. And then next, it comes back to my turn. One, two, three, four. So I draw two cards. Got a brick. And I got an any color archer, which is very, very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard my brick and my, yeah, I'm just going to discard this brick and then I draw another one, then I get a red swordsman. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack this orc, bring him down to one, and then do, can I do anything else? I can green archer this goblin, and then what I'm going to do is I have an any color archer. This can go on any area of the archer area. So I'm going to get that troll down to two. And then if he gets down to one, and then you hit him again, then he's dead. Then you keep him. Now what happens is I'm going to say that's the end of my turn. So attacking this, when the monsters attack your walls. So how you want to attack is, this guy's at one health. So when he takes down a wall, but he dies because it takes away a health. So he dies, and instead of keeping it for yourself, you keep it in just a pile of rare cards where enemies die because of nothing, no, something other than just cards. So then you want to keep this aside, and this guy instead of dying goes to one, and this is gone. And if the monsters take out all one, two, three, four, five castles, then you're dead. Or if you slay all 49 guys. And then with, let me find these guys. Let me find these guys and then we'll get right back. Okay, so now we're going to do these special guys. We got the Orc Warlord, the Goblin King, the Troll Mage, and the Healer. So let's, and then we got the Plague Knights, we got giant boulders, we got draw, monster tokens, we got mo monsters move clockwise, and we got all players discard a card. So let's start out with a giant boulder. It's basically the same thing with monsters. You see where it goes. Okay, six. Now what you want to do, you want to place it at six, and, and it'll just go knocking into the wall and destroy it. Or the castle if you don't have a wall. But there is a advantage if you have a monster on six you can take him out so this guy is dead goes into pile where no one has and then this is gone so <clears throat> it all defers and then that's good for and then all players discard a card basically it's just okay i'm going to discard this card and then everyone does that and then the plague is annoying because let's say um uh, okay so, Plague Knights. I have a knight right here. That basically means all players discard all of their knights that they have. Just all of them. Now, draw well, monst draw four monster tokens. So basically, just pick up four. And then the Orc Warlord. Now, wait. It's the same thing. You put down. Okay, five. And let's say you have... Let me put just a random guy. Let's say you have an Orc here. He... the This guy... And his other fellows in the blue ring, let's say, is in the blue ring, or the green ring, or the red ring. Which, his fellow monsters in the blue ring, or green, red ring, or green ring, and only in the ring he's in, all move one. And that can be annoying, and or it can be nice, because just archers. The healer, same thing, you just put him down like a monster, except I have a monster, an orc rear that's down to one. This guy heals up everyone by one. 
only one, not it's like, okay, this trolls down to one. It's not, he goes back up to three, he goes back up to two. So this guy gets back up to two health, which is annoying. And then that's it. Now, the troll mage, same thing, put him down. But this guy lets everyone else on the whole board, including him, move one. So everyone moves. Now for the Goblin King, this guy's annoying. Same thing, just put him down. Except now, you get to draw three more tokens with him, so which can be very, very annoying. So, that's the basics of Castle Panic. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.